Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to The Walking Dead. Let's play. What's that say? Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Mike, stay cool, buddy. I wonder if I wonder how many faces there are are faces of the developers of the game. I wonder how often they do that. Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool. I've done this before, Hobby. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? Yeah, I think I do. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? Um, David vouched for her. Your father trusts her. And we trust him, right? Yeah. And we should be okay. Uh, do I trust him, though? I hope. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone. Other than you and Kate, Mariana. If there's no bullshit. And what I remembered of my dad. Trustworthy people don't lie about small stuff. After you catch the first whiff of their bullshit, that's when you cut somebody loose. Better safe than sorry. Makes sense. I, I keep hearing... I think we're up. Little she sure is a big help. ...background noises, and I can't tell if it's from the game or upstairs. It's freaking me out. <laughs> Is this a good idea? Uh, creaky. Creaky's usually bad. We're gonna find out it's empty, aren't we? Ava said it'd be this way. It's gonna be empty, isn't it? Or there's gonna be, gonna be somebody bad waiting for us. Down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. Is that going to alert somebody? Have to do this the hard way. Uh, okay, here we go. Ooh, that's loud and echoey. Shit, that's bad. Okay, this has to be the one. Have they even noticed that I'm gone yet? Or is that techno trouble? Hey, how you doing, man? <laughs> okay, so I take it from that comment that you know what's up. You know what's going on. <laughs> I was going to say. And after I'm done this chapter, I'm going to do a little bit of Outlast 2. Oh yeah, we're loading up. Put these in your bag. Oh yeah, fucking let's take as much of it as we can. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. <laughs> uh yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Oh fuck. Is that oh shit balls. Oh, it's her. <laughs> Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. 
I'll meet you at the entrance. Yeah, Outlast 2. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Probably... I may have to cut things off a little early tonight. Not sure. But I'm hoping to get at least an hour's worth of Outlast in. <gasps> come here. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't hear you say come here. I'm sure you didn't hear that echo through the hallways at all. <laughs> Wait, who's that? Holy shit, what the fuck? Get him! Get away from him! Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, fuck! Oh, you motherfucker! That's it? Wow. Wow, what a puss. <laughs> Are you okay? My god. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. She passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss sleep oh, piss in off. the closet so nobody sees him. Well, no, we gotta put him out. He's gonna wake us up and... He's... He's gonna wake up and squeal on us. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta take him out. <laughs> Let me see that wound. It's really Let me see your wound. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. That's it. Wait, are subtitles supposed to be off? Um, yeah, I do. I do keep subtitles off on purpose because uh, I, I don't know. I just don't really care for subtitles. Oh, hello. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. I don't feel good about that. Do any of them have laser sights? I don't feel good about that at all. I, I don't think I can trust her. I think that was just... Oh, fuck. I know I can't trust him. Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. I thought you left. Thought you'd be long gone by now. <sighs> so did I. But I still need to talk about AJ with Lingard. And look at him. Fucking anyway, addict. I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. Yeah, he's snoring. <laughs> That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. <laughs> You've done this before? I know she's done it before. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually. In much worse <laughs> conditions. You'll be fine. This should be huh. fun. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. What's not to Are you okay? I'm fine. What is it? What's not to trust I about Lingard? I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. Oh. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, oh. why is it... I just don't understand. That, um, it's a normal thing. You're growing up. It means you're growing up. Blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. <laughs> your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it, it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. 
Oh, so she's grown up. Um, what's that? Uh, what's not to trust about Lingard? Well, I, I didn't trust him because he sided with Joan earlier. So, um, yeah, I feel I feel like I don't know. I feel like I can't trust him, but but I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I guess. I don't know. I'd rather have her stitch me up. Uh, what's that? Yo. Wake up. Talk to me. All right, let's smack him around a Dr. little bit. Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard? Can you hear me? Does he look like he can hear you? Hey. Wake up. Talk to me. He wow. can't feel a thing. <laughs> guy is really out of it. Yep. Yeah, he sure is. <laughs> Uh, great, great. I gotta, I gotta find something to wake him up. Maybe just... Jackpot, needle and thread, all sterilized and ready to go. I'll just let Clementine do it. Cody, hmm, not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Yeah, I won't need it. Uh, nah, put him back. No thanks. It's just a... It's just a little pain. I can handle it. <laughs> Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. I'm allergic to that. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... <laughs> didn't find out I was allergic to, pen to penicillin until I was about halfway through a bottle of one. Halfway through my prescription, and then... Oh, look at that! I Just woke pills. up and there's bumps all over me. Lovely. It was itchy as fuck and I needed to get other goddamn medication just to get rid of the itch. It sucked. Here we go. Um. Oh, I, I you can give those to Clementine. Perfect. <laughs> uh, talk to. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. Clementine is grateful. Yeah, nice. Cool. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay. Hold still. Try not to breathe. <laughs> Look. I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Oh, Even yeah. Ava would have to admit, I was a good mom to AJ. Oh, flashback. All right, she's Oh man, this this was their little hideout. Poor Clementine. Jeez. Draw a knife. Whoa there, Clem. You. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I know how pissed you are, Clementine. Sitting <laughs> yeah. on David really got that message across. Believe it or not, I'm actually sorry about what happened. It wasn't easy for any of us. You have to believe that. I'll get him back. No, no fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> I deserve that. 
I'm not here to upset you more. Too late. Look, it's not much, but here. Survival pack. That's that's really the best you can do for me. Goddamn stream lag. Oh, is the light? Is the stream lagging? Oh no. AJ's doodle. Oh. Hmm. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. Now you're just screwing with me. No, Clem. We just... Am I supposed to just thank you for this? We just thought you'd want something to remember him by. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. You, Kept me going in the worst of times. You're going to give me a hint? Okay, go for it. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. You stole mine. Out. You people stole mine. You know that. You'll just have to find something new that... Shut the hell up. From the first time we met right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. I'm sorry about all of this. That's it. There will be a choice. Really? Pick wisely, like really wisely. Okay. I should get back. Before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. Oh, shake her hand. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Glenn. With it, so I'm gonna have to make a really wise choice. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not exactly sure what that means. <laughs> That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. Also, I have a Twitch channel if you want to see me play live. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.